My name is Jonathan Goldstein and I'm the composer behind the music on the album Cyclorama. I studied music at Birmingham University under John D. Harrison and Vic Hoyland, both esteemed uh, contemporary composers. And uh, I graduated in 89 and went straight to work uh, for the Royal Shakespeare Company as a music director on uh, one of Trevor Nunn's celebrated productions. The material on Cyclorama is uh, a collection of music that I've written predominantly for this stage over many years and um, I thought it would be a good opportunity to try and gather this material in one place and develop it and breathe new life into it because you, know, you spend months and months and years of your life creating scores for the stage um, that get heard for as long as a production is in existence. Once that production is over, the music disappears. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to go back through all that library of material and reinvent it, explore it and revisit it and create new things. So one of the things that I wanted to make sure I achieved uh, in the album was taking uh, a, a diverse body of material like this and giving it a unified sound. Um, and I decided the way to do this most effectively was by the choice of performers uh, and the choice of recording venue. Now the venue uh, is a wonderful old church in North London called St Jude's on the Hill, um, which I know very well from previous experiences on classical recordings that I've, that I've worked on. Uh, it has a most wonderful sound, and I think you can really get that sense of, of place uh, and acoustic and a, and a sort of feeling that it brings, that it imparts to all the material. And the performers I used, of course, there's the Balanescu Quartet. And um, Alex Balanescu, I know very well, we've worked together on numerous um, productions. Um, what they're very good at, uh, and again, this, this applied very much to the album, is taking many different styles of music, working with Michael Nyman on one hand and working with Alex's own material on the other, and um, soundtracks, theatre music, all sorts of things, and making sense of them as their sound whenever they perform it. So I thought this would be a very exciting thing to explore, to take a um, varied body of material and give it this, this unifying sound through the choice of people and venue. Um, some of the tracks being songs from Shakespeare plays, um, I needed to find uh, a singer who had a perfect stillness and simplicity about their style. And Grace Davidson is an absolutely phenomenal uh, singer who performs with celebrated early music groups, um, Tenebrae and the Sixteen. And um, she was the absolute perfect choice uh, for these, these songs and uh, I think brings about a really kind of haunting uh, beauty to them, um, which surpassed my expectations. And in fact, you know, one of my favourite tracks came out of it, um, the song Crass Armet, um, which started life as a, as a song in Titus Andronicus. The other performer, uh, James Pearson, there's an awful lot of keyboard-related music. I needed to find someone who could turn their hand to classical styles and more contemporary minimalist styles and be at home comfortably in each area. And James is one such performer. He uh, is best known as um, the artistic director at Ronnie Scott's Jazz Club, um, but he's also a highly accomplished classical player. The Etudes uh, number one and two for cello are interesting pieces in that they started life as um, incidental music for a theatre production that the late Corinne Redgrave um, did about the life of Oscar Wilde. Um, and uh, they were written for uh, solo cello in the theatre and they remained as such and they were performed by the brilliant cellist Nicholas Holland, um, both in its original version and again on this album, so I was very blessed to manage to get him to play it on both occasions. So why Battersea Power Station? That's a good question. Uh, I wanted to make sure that whatever went on the cover of the album said something about the country of origin, um, that it's a, it's a British album, um, and also that it's something that's connected to me, which is London. I'm London born and bred, and uh, I grew up in South West London. And um, 
There's also a very nocturnal kind of feel to it. All the shots are taken um, very early in the morning or late at night. And uh, there's a nocturnal feel, vibe to the album, to the, to the material, and I thought the, it'd be good to have images that uh, reflected that somehow. Mm -hmm.